Einen schönen guten Abend aus dem Chateau de Colomb, hier im wunderschönen saint Baudel. Ich hoffe, ihr oder wir hoffen, ihr habt schöne Feiertage verbracht. Und das ist unser letztes Vlog für dieses Jahr. Salut à tous. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colomb in saint Baudel. And naturally, speaking friends from around the world, welcome to the uh, Journey to the Chateau, our very last vlog for this year. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you had wonderful holidays uh, and in enjoyed them as much as we have. And we had some some more things that we needed to some, uh, figure out. Some end of the year projects kind of things we needed to do. Yes. Yeah. So um, we hope you find this as interesting as we did. Now, things we have learned and we did not know, even though we searched the internet, so you can't believe what you read on the internet for the, for a good part of it. Right. So, uh, E12 and E14 are two different, what was that called, the, the base, bases. Right, the bulb size. The, and even yeah. theoretically, they should, E12 should work here, but they just, uh, if they're LED, They just burn out right. in a heartbeat. So uh, don't waste your money bringing E12s with you. You can convert uh, lamps if you move here. Um, it's a bit of work. And sometimes there are certain lamps we haven't figured out how to convert them yet. But we will. We will. Uh, so, <laughs> so this it was a really interesting uh, learning experience. But um, yes, so... Some of the, the lights we have been able to convert, they work. Uh, we're very happy about that. Right. And we had we had quite a few lamps. So we were really hoping that we could make them work here. Yes. I am converting a lamp. So for what we had in the United States and what we have now, uh, different. So I already unscrewed this. It's the difference. E12, E14. At the end, the when you look inside, this is uh, looks uh, w way smaller. This is just thicker on the outside, but the interior it's two millimeters difference. So this is now not usable. But I also need to adjust what where I put it on because I didn't. I don't want this to be this tall. This is it's not what it's supposed to be. It'd be it's supposed to be this low. So, and then of course what I had before by two millimeters does not fit. So that's out. And uh, that means I'm taking one of the new ones, although yes, I know it's white, but I'm gonna have to cut this uh, then to the correct height, which then <laughs> I'm gonna put on there too. Now, let's see, I don't even know if I can find a saw right now that I can use. Because, uh, yes, for wood, we have plenty of saws, multiple incarnations at all. But for this, I might be able to snip it. And I'm in the workshop where we have an astounding, I think, two or three degrees Celsius centigrade. So that is about 30... 738 degrees, 36, something like that. That worked so far so good. Uh, check this in terms of plane height to what I had here. Nope, still way too, too tall. But it is okay with my wires. They can put them in here. So this is going to stay this way because I have to cut the white candle look-alike anyways. And I am layered. I'm wearing a thick vest underneath uh, 
house coat that is basically protected against jumping dogs. Under that, it's a sweater, uh, fleece, and under that, it's a t-shirt. So, it's really not horrible at all. Okay, hope that works. So far, so good. Yeehaw. Okay. One. Two. And. Yippee. So far, really quite smooth sailing, which is. Always the case. How oh, nice so far. Now let me see. Yeah, that will actually. It looks like it will, it will work, so that is nice. Now I need a pencil. Hello, Luna. Hello, Luna, baby. Yes. not bad it fits so the copper is very very stiff because it's a cold <laughs> um, and the, the thing is wires you can use uh, no matter where uh, if they're the right thickness of course but uh, this won't work so we can't put converters everywhere. And that too is now history. Yep. Since these are two wires I can that are insulated themselves, I can pull them apart a bit. Just nice. And we did buy replacement plugs that are fit for fitted for here. Let me go in and warm that up. Okay, I warmed it up a little and uh, it is now two pieces. What I do need to do now is strip the wire. Careful not to use a gauge too small because then you cut it too far and that is no good at all. Oh, 
Okay, so insulation is off. Good. So now it needs to be fed into these. So you open up this in your new plug, feed it in, and screw it tight. No, you don't, actually. <laughs> what you do before you do that, you put the cover on it. Ta-ta! Oh, I would have been so mad if I would have finished and then realized I have to redo everything. That happens quite frequently. And I have not worked with these specific new plugs or replacement plugs. Okay. Put this in. Tight. Okay. So I have these two now, they we need to be fed through here. And in this case, of course, it's never that easy. It's a bit tricky because these wires are thicker than what was in there. Okay, so far, so good. Of course, that looks crooked now, but that's okay. It's supposed to be an old lamp, so actually, it's supposed to be an old candle, which clearly it's not. here that are not as tight as they need to be. So I'm gonna tighten those up before I get this inside and turn it on. So this is kind of a reproduction. Oh, I screwed it too far. Okay, so line is lined up, uh, lined up with this, so that's good. pretty much nice so I'm gonna bring that inside now and uh, we're gonna show you when it's lit up okay plugged it in fingers crossed hey. Ooh, no, it's flickering oh okay there we go so this has it oh I forgot this has a two level thing so theoretically it's supposed to be lower and brighter but it's just in this case flickery and stable so this is a 
like a reproduction um, of a, a Georgian um, desk candle lamp. So yeah. uh, it, it's really quite pretty. Um, and it works now. <laughs> so we do, we already have converted quite a few lamps, mm -hmm. um, which is really nice. And uh, it's also quite satisfying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was fun. Um, and well, one other thing that happened was that um, we actually received the cut grease for the van in the mail. So it's now completely official. Yes. Uh, it is now a French car. <laughs> it only took five months, and thank you, Florence. It would not have happened without you. Right, thank you. So, uh, we were really tickled to death. <laughs> I did the happy dance when I opened that envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we are here in uh, saint amand montrand it's a very pretty town and uh, Florence called yesterday that she received word actually now she called and uh, heard that all we need to do now is pay the fee to get our French license plate and the French carte grise uh, for the van so it's then um, the application had always in two over two months ago, but it's all settled, everything is approved. So we're only gonna go pay and yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some things that's worth waiting for. There it is. So the license plate will be in the mail. But uh, it's anything if if the, anyone wants to know uh, anything, this is we're we're, we're good. Good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's go. So Stuart asked me a very poignant question because it is the time when the year comes to an end and uh, reminiscing and thinking about how was 2022 for us. What was uh, a monumental year? 
Yeah, it was pretty a life-changing year for us, actually, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, with all the ups and downs and a lot of stress getting the dogs here, um, selling the house, moving over, getting the, the uh, containers finally, right. um, having Nessa lost for nine days and, and getting her bound. back. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it was not... All roses and honey. No, it was quite a roller coaster <laughs> of a year, but for the most part, it ended really, really well for us. Yes. So I mean, it's it's a um, year that, uh, to quote the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, I will look at with uh, not what undiluted. Quite a pleasure. Oh, good lord, I'm completely <laughs> butching this. Never mind. It was a year that wasn't uh, particularly um, all rosy, which most years are not to begin with. But this was definitely one of the most turbulent years uh, of our lives. Right, right. And we're here. We are. Um, I think we're, we feel pretty blessed. Right. The dogs are all here. We're all doing good. Um, and so thank you so much for your support. This uh, really did change our lives um, to have all of you uh, on this journey with us. Uh, we want to thank our uh, patrons. Right. The ones on Patreon and people who have helped us along the way who are patrons um, as well. So thank you for your input, your support your gifts, your uh, cards, your pep talks. Yeah. And on that note, we wish you a happy new year. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.